What's up, YouTube? Yes, we have a new pet, and I'm excited to show you guys. But before we even get to there, you guys know on every Sunday, I usually pair up a couple of males to my females. It's just something I do every Saturday, so I have to show you that first. And big shout out to Ozzy Boyds. I'm gonna put all of all these information in the description down below. This guy has some top-notch snakes, man, and sure it's freaking awesome. Also, for all you people in Atlanta, I think I'm gonna be going to the Atlanta Repticon on April 13th. So if you guys are going, please comment down below. Let me know if you are, because I'm really excited about it. I was actually on Facebook talking to uh, Bob Vu, and he kind of threatened me. He's like, hey, do you better go or else, you know, I'm going to get my posse to lay hands on you. No, I'm just playing. He did it. We were actually just going back and forth. And I found out that Bob actually has a U.S. ARC auction over there. And you guys know I'm a huge, huge supporter of the U.S. ARC. And I'm actually donating something. You guys want to see what I'm donating? Let me show you guys. That's all you guys are going to get. You guys are going to have to actually stay tuned and look at Bob's post and see what's actually going to be donated. But if you guys are going, please make sure you guys hit up the US ARC auction afterwards, which is going to be on Saturday after the show. Also, a few other people that are going to be vetting out the show is going to be my buddy Bernie and Chase and Balls. They're going to have an amazing table out there. So make sure you guys go check it out. I'm going to put all the information on the description down below. Um, so, all right, guys, let's get to pairing these females and I'm going to show you guys this awesome new pet that we just got. You guys know how to get the water hose first. All right guys, so the first pairing that we're gonna do is a blackhead red jean, possible het pied. Check this out. Look at her. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Let me move her, look how girthy she is. She's building some good sized follicles as well. Let me spray this down. Oops. And now to get the male. And the male that we're using for this breeding is a super leopard, well, possible super leopard clown pied. So what we're shooting to get over here, which would be really cool, would be a blackhead leopard pied, and obviously it'll be 100% head clown. Either way, if it doesn't prove out, there'll be 100% double head clown pied, but it's gonna be an awesome pairing. Forgot, clip it. What was that saying? Set it and forget it. And this next one's an awesome, huge pairing of mine. And I think this might be their last lock. Last time we checked her, she was a 24.4 millimeter follicles. And that's none other than my Gotham female. Look how big she is. Let's get you over there, girl. Just need to spray it down. Might as well clean that little poop that's right in there too, right? All right, and the male that we're pairing up with that Gotham is my awesome sunset male. I'm expecting some freaking really cool double hat combos from this guy and a couple of clown females. Another female that I think is going to be their last lock is this killer clown. And she's been bred to a uh, red stripe clown. So everything obviously is going to be pastel. Get some pastel red stripe clown combos. Um, definitely hoping for some females to hold back, but. And here's this awesome little red stripe boy. Get some work done, buddy. That's all for pairing up some males and females. Obviously, I have more to do, but I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. So, let me just finish this up real quick and let me show you guys our new, awesome, venomous pet. Turtle just reminded me that I have 10 days to cut this clutch, which is my last clutch in the incubator. And from the looks of it, I'm gonna have to turn this thing off. And I didn't really want to turn it off, but these girls better stop dropping, man, because this thing's gonna, this thing's lonely. Look at this, there's nothing in here besides this clutch. And this clutch right here is a black pastel hypo clown to a jungle woma. So that's gonna be a pretty cool clutch. All right, are you guys ready to see our new pet? Dude, he has the coolest name too. His name is Junior. And you guys will see why we named him Junior. But everybody, here he is, meet Junior. Look at him, isn't he freaking cool? And yes guys, right here we have another Mexican beaded lizard. And this little guy is just feisty little dude. Look at those nails.
Isn't he really cool? So we got this little guy from where I got my first one from Taboo Exotics, Jonathan. I'm also gonna put all his information on the description down below. But this little guy is so freaking cool. I love these Mexican beaded lizards. And speaking of Mexican beaded lizards, at the last Tinley show in March, I bought something really cool, which was the last print. Well, let me go show you guys, because I actually still need to open it up. I just sent the turtle to get it, so while we're waiting, let's uh, check out Junior a little bit more. And comment down below, guys, and let me know what you guys think about this cool little guy. Get that, man. So when he, Jonathan gave me the option to pick from a few of them, I really love the yellow on the back of his legs. Whoa, look at this guy. Come on, Junior. Relax. All right, let me get to opening this. This thing was really cool, man. When I saw it, this was before I actually even got Junior, but you know, I fell in love with Venom. One of the coolest lizards, so. Pretty sure you guys kind of have an idea of what it is. That's why you guys have to go to these US Ark auctions, because you guys can find some really cool stuff. And I'm having trouble with this. Oh, um, by the way, thank you, Lori Barczyk, for shipping this to me. All right, guys, and here it is. This is the last print from Tell Hicks of the Heloderma. It has all the localities right here, and this thing is so freaking cool. Especially because, look, last print available ever. Forever. Name that movie quote. Not you, Turtle, but someone comment down, down below. But I definitely want one of these all black ones right here. I know Forrest Fanning has some of these, and these things are so beautiful, man. They are, honestly, the coolest lizards. I mean, they're so lazy. Sometimes I think they're dead because the way like they're just laid down. So you go in there and literally have to like poke them just to make sure they move over. But yes, that is our new pet guys. And please comment down below and let me know what you guys think. So, okay, let's move on to some other stuff. So I had to redo that for you guys really quick because the turtle told me that the glare was really bad, which I'm obviously going to find out when I start editing this, but hope you guys kind of got a good glimpse of it. Either way, I'm going to put a picture on it right now. So there you guys go. Again, I'm super happy that I got that. So freaking cool. Okay, now let's talk about some other stuff. So I'm going to try to show you guys a special little treat real quick. We almost lost my balance. But um, I'm going to feed my black eastern indigo, see if he eats. He started just recently taking frozen thought or pre-killed. So let's see if he eats for you guys. I didn't think he was gonna do that, but that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna close this up because little by little I'm trying to get him used to me feeding him like that. So maybe next time we'll completely get a time lapse on him grubbing, but he's really cool, very aggressive. That's so awesome. You're welcome, guys. Speaking of feeding, we just fed our big retech a rabbit last night and actually filmed it. So check this out. That's so awesome, right? Since we're on the whole feeding subject, let me feed some more reptiles for you guys. And just the ones that eat frozen thought are pre-killed, which is my hog noses. These little guys are aggressive. Check this out. All right, girl, please don't bite me. I see your cute little face already just poking out. You know it's coming. Now that little girl right there wouldn't even care if I have three cameras or ten people there just looking at her eat. She just she does not care. One day I'm gonna have to just do a full feeding video for you guys on all the snakes that eat pre-killed or frozen thawed. All right guys, that's it for the vlog. So, real quick before I finish off completely, guys, I have a huge news and I have one of the biggest shipments coming in this Monday. 
biggest shipment ever in always evolving Python history. And I can't wait to show you guys and share with you what comes in. And I'm also doing another giveaway this Monday. Again, congratulations to everyone that won the plushies. But this Monday, we're doing something completely reptile related. And it's not going to be no reptile giveaway, but it has something to do in this kind of... Uh, well, it's in this room, <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, huge, huge shipment. I can't even tell you. It's I kind of almost want to tell you, but again, guys, um, stay tuned for this Monday. Well, it's actually going to be Tuesday's vlog, but comment down below. Let me know who's all going to be at the Atlanta show. I'm very excited to go. I might make a quick little stop at Jessica Buckle's place and do a tour over there at his place before he ends up moving out to his huge new facility. Congratulations again, Justin. Also, for you guys that are still watching this vlog, I have this super awesome collab that I'm going to be doing, not this week, but next week after I come back from Atlanta. I am going to be going to one of the coolest barbershops. This guy messaged me on Instagram and he says that he has a bunch of reptiles there at the barbershop and I might even get a haircut there. So I am really looking forward to that. So there's so much cool things to come. We have big shipment on Monday. We have the Reptarium giveaway Wednesday. We have Jessica Belka's tour, hopefully. Then we have the Atlanta show. Then we have the Barber show. And then we have more cool things to come. I know Barchick's going to be coming down from Detroit and doing more cool collabs. So, guys, just stay tuned because I have a lot of cool things coming. You guys know I appreciate all of the support. Until next time, bye.